Hey investors, it's almost two years since I started Project One Million. We started with a humble amount of about hundred and fifty thousand, and we've grown it now to about close to three hundred sixty thousand. I'm very pleased with how Project One Million has done over the last two years. There were a lot of unpredictable events especially the COVID pandemic, but we took advantage of opportunities that presented themselves along the way. And we kept faith in the companies that we bought for the long term. The future looks exciting for Project 1 million, and I think we can hit our goal of 1 million in the remaining 8 years of the project. Now let's take a look at the portfolio. So here, so here is the portfolio. Right now, we have a total of about three hundred fifty-nine thousand plus, and about eighty-one dollars in cash. And these are the stocks. I didn't do the usual Excel sheet breakdown, uh, but you can see all the stocks I own right here, and you can see the amounts. I hold of each stock. This is still a very concentrated portfolio. You can see that Amazon, Facebook, Google, plus the Google over here make up a large chunk of the portfolio. These are the other stocks we own, and I will scroll down so you can see all the stocks that we own. These are the tickers of the stocks. You can see here, um, now we're getting into some of the positions that are very small, like Berkshire Hathaway, NVIDIA, Peloton, Eater, CrowdStrike, Airbnb, and so on. I even own some Bitcoin. I think the smallest position I own is probably um, this stock. Uh, okay, this stock is actually a surgical robotic company. Um, I believe it's a SPAC holding right now. Uh, but when it goes public, it will be called uh, vicarious surgical. So since I'm heavily invested in intuitive surgical, I thought it would be good to have some skin in the game uh, for a competitor. So those are the stocks we own. So the portfolio, according to my calculation, is up about 18% year to date which i think is pretty good now let's take a look at all the transactions we made uh in the past month so we got caught up in the the wish uh meme stock craze in the early part of the the month in june i actually sold this put uh i think the day before it went up 50 percent and I, I didn't expect it to become a meme stock. It, it was just very cheap at that price and that's why I sold uh, that put. But in fact, I got a little bit nervous uh, with buying it and so I immediately uh, bought back that put. So I didn't make much money off that. I think maybe about $80 or so. So you can take a look at the other things we did. Um, We've been buying uh, Douyu quite a bit. Uh, we sold this put over here. Um, yeah, this is the surgical robotic stock we, that we bought. So it looks like the 
spec for 23andMe uh, went public here. But this um, uh, silver mining company then bought Ether, bought a bit more Douyu, sold another put over here. Bought Douyu. So Douyu looks a very uh, undervalued stock right now to me. So I've been buying. Uh, but of course, I'm not buying a lot right now. Um, I might buy some more, I think, because I don't have that much cash. So, but I'll probably use up whatever cash I have to buy uh, to you. And you can look at the open uh, options, the contracts we have. So right now, leverage is not that much. Um, it's about going to be close to three thousand, which I think can easily cover. Uh, with the portfolio, so we're not overly leveraged. So finally, let's take a look at how we did compare to some of the best uh, ETFs and the best uh, fund managers. So the S and P five hundred has done about seventeen percent. Nasdaq looks like it's about 14%. Uh, Barron Fifth Avenue Fund is about 13 plus percent. Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust is about 8 plus percent. ARK Invest is about 3.5%. Uh, Berkshire Focus is about 1%. So we're beating all of them. Congratulations to Project 1 million.